another day and another shake up in India's telecom space. This time it's Jio teaming up with Elon Musk's SpaceX to bring Starlink's high speed satellite internet to India. Just yesterday, Airtel made a similar announcement. And now Jio has entered the ring as well. The question is though, what does this mean for India's digital future? And is Starlink the solution? to India's connectivity woes. Let's break it down for you. Geo Platforms has signed an agreement with SpaceX to distribute Starlink's broadband services all across India. This means that Geo customers will soon have access to high-speed satellite internet, especially in rural and remote areas where fiber optic networks are still a distant dream. Geo will sell Starlink through retail stores and online platforms and support installation and activation. Why is this a big deal if you ask? Because this could bridge India's digital divide like never before. India's top telecom players are going all in on satellite broadband. Airtel's Bharti Group, for example. Bharti Group, prior to partnering with SpaceX, has been offering satellite communications through its partnerships with Utislat OneWeb. Geo also has its own geospace fiber, but is now teaming up with Starlink for faster development. And in the middle of all this, Global giants like Amazon's Project Cooper and Rivada Space Networks are also eyeing the Indian market. Bottom line, the competition is heating up fast. Mobile data in India is among the cheapest in the world. It averages somewhere between 150 to 200 rupees per month. That's around 2 to 3 US dollars. Satellite internet on the other hand? Well, Starlink's global pricing sits at 150 dollars per month. That in Indian currency is 12,500 rupees. But analysts predict that Geo and Airtel could together push this down to like 3,000 rupees per month. Still expensive, but potentially life-changing for say businesses and rural users. I mean, just think about it. For rural India users, 12,500 per month, 3,000 per month. It's a major difference. India has over 670 million people without internet access. Most of them in rural areas. If the pricing from 12,500 rupees per month is actually reduced to something like 3,000 per month, the rural areas will be the ones most positively impacted. With low Earth orbital LEO satellites, Starlink can deliver high speed, low latency broadband to even the most remote villages. Perfect for, say, uh, telemedicine, education, and small businesses as well. Matthew Uman, CEO of Geo, said, and we quote, Ensuring that every Indian has access to high-speed broadband remains our top priority. So what is the final takeaway then? Geo and Airtel teaming up with Starlink is a massive step up for India's internet future. If successful, rural India will get high-speed broadband like never before. Some might argue that even a price range of 3,000 to 4,000 rupees per month can be difficult for a certain section of the society in rural India. But that's at least better than the current situation or the pricing of 12,500 per month. If this pricing of satellite broadband becomes correct, becomes affordable, it could revolutionize connectivity for businesses and individuals as well. But regulatory approvals, pricing and execution will be the key challenges, especially when it comes to a vast country like India. Something that's very interesting is that this new development comes nearly a month after Elon Musk met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Washington. Now I want to ask you, what will you do? Will you want to switch to, say, Starlink via Geo and Airtel? Would you want to pay 3,000 rupees per month for satellite internet? Or are you happy with the current internet scenario and the current internet speed? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Make them long, we'll read them all. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because we bring for you the real-time live updates from the world of tech and the world of AI. Because think AI, think AIM.